Hey everybody, and welcome to my next little playthrough of a track that I created in Little Big Planet Karting. This track is called To Clive With Love, and if anybody doesn't know who Clive is, he was a curator from the Little Big Planet 2 game, and he just kind of stuck with me, and this track sort of pays homage to him um, as a character because I liked him so much. And this track is basically, if you played Little Big Planet 2, he was the curator of uh, the Factory of a Better Tomorrow, and that is what I based this off of. So hopefully there are little pieces here, like the um, like the trash compactors, that um, sort of remind you of those levels, and especially this part with the tubes. Um, yeah, this little area here is a great place for players and AI alike to troll other players and AI to make them fall into the furnace pit below the tubes. It's just a nice little challenging area that I thought would be kind of cool to um, add with, that pr with the press of that red button over there. And this part is interesting because you have to choose your paths wisely. Um, depending on which uh, part of the notepad you go through, you will either collect prizes, collect weapons, or just collect basic bubbles. Um, throughout this track, you will obviously see a lot of Clive figurines, like his head here. Um, he covers his eyes every single time you pass him. And I thought that would be like a cute little thing because Clive was always just kind of like a uh, scaredy cat in the Little Big Planet 2 games. He really didn't want to do anything, so um, that would uh, cause him danger or trouble. But um, you'll also notice a lot of custom items or weapons. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. That's one of the uh, one of my favorite things about Little Big Planet carding, except you can't really change the pictures of the weapons in their little um, icon in the bottom right, but still, creating weapons is a blast, and I have a lot of fun doing it. Um, but you see there are um, like little Clive bots that come along and blow you up. There's a uh, first place blimp that's kind of like a smaller version of the blimp that uh, travels around this, this track here. Um, and this pipe section is actually really tough to navigate, um, and this is by no means an easy track, but uh, I know a lot of people have said that they have had uh, troubles with that pipe area, but there's really not a lot that I could do to fix it, because I guess the problem is with the pipe's shape, it's just a uh, cylindrical um, track rather than a straight track, so you'd be like moving from side to side a lot. But I am getting my butt kicked <laughs> by the AI in this in this race. Um, so it sort of looks like I can't I can't even navigate my own race without uh, being completely blown to bits. But um, yeah, the AI is normal on this track. It's not master difficulty, even though it kind of looks like it. Um, but I try to keep all of my tracks with normal difficulty because I know how. Uh, how cheap the AI can be sometimes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this track. By the way, if anybody knows how to make a conveyor belt that um, moves a player along, sort of like what uh, happened in Sugar Rush, I would really like to know, um, because that's one thing that I just could not figure out with the conveyor belt in the, um, in the uh, trash compactor area. So it would be really nice to know how to do that. Um, but if you enjoy this track, please, please, please do check out To Clive With Love. I will leave a link in the description um, to my lbpk.me page. Um, and you can cue it from there and play it whenever you would like to. Um, this was actually uh, featured on the Adipose TV, uh, which is also going to be linked in the description. Um, and uh, yeah... I also want to give a big shout out to Roger from uh, LBP Central because he helped me with a lot of respawn issues with this track. But yeah, um, guys, check out uh, www.gamersbench.com. Um, I've written a review for this game if you're thinking about maybe buying it. Or if you have it and would like to share your opinion on the game and, you know, the create mode and all that, then please let me know. Leave a comment or leave a comment on Gamers Bench. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.